What's up, folks? We are back in Bannerlord. Doing Bannerlord things. Uh, we are still in the... We're not playing the beta band branch. I think we failed something or we got knocked out. I don't remember. <laughs> it's been a few days since I've actually played. But we're going to keep working our way up here. We'll do some more tournaments. Kill some more looters. How about those guys? I'll be sending troops if I do that. Which may or may not work. Everybody's hurt. Everyone. Yeah, we gotta get back to town. There's another hideout. These are actually kind of hard if there's a lot of them. Because most of them are ranged. Trying to finish the main quest line as much as I can. How are we doing? Are we almost back in the fight? I'll go. I'll go help these little villagers. You go ahead, little villager guy. It's okay. It'll be fine. You'll be good. Go ahead and recruit these rovers. Or at least one of them. I think prisoners cost you morale to recruit, but they, uh, I mean, they're free troops, so you can get your morale back by winning a couple of battles. Let's join the, no, actually, that's not. Let's wait here for a little bit. We'll just wait. We'll recuperate. We'll get this health back up. So I guess the beta patch that's out, I have not opted in for it yet. Uh, I guess it really improves a lot of the performance of the game, for one. And then uh, it also changes a lot of the stats. Yeah, quite a bit. So I guess like you start with less, but the requirements for it are way lower. So you don't have to just grind forever to get anywhere on this, like on something you're actually using a lot. I think that's cool. And companions have far fewer skills. Let's just keep moving. I don't want to be down here in the desert anymore. It's not nearly as fun as fighting stuff up north. Let's go for these looters. They're great for a little bit of uh, practice. And spotting hideouts is good for your uh, scouting skill, by the way, if you didn't know that. Start to get low on food. I got to watch that. I'm out of my little excursion out here in the desert. All right, three, four point nine, four point six. Yeah, I'm not gonna catch him. <laughs> not, not anytime soon. I'm not sure why I have uh, Dvorusta highlighted, but I do. <laughs> can we recruit another dude? Sure can. I'll take a anybody with cavalry. Anybody with a horse is good in my book. But depending on what you guys say in the comments, which probably aren't going to be many because not many people are watching this right now. But I may uh, flip over to that beta branch or I might just wait until it uh, comes out of beta and goes over to the main public branch. Hey, there's a guy I need to talk to. Take two of those. Let's talk to Adram. I mean, to be honest, I am not that interested in the storyline in this. This game was never about scripted storyline. It was always about the sandbox experiment. Experience. <laughs> the sandbox is what made it interesting. Where are we at on this? Six. God. It's just so many. Like, yeah, you should be able to talk to a couple of people and be done with it. But it really limits what you do here. Let's keep pushing over here. We'll check over here and look for these. these Because what I'm really doing out here is grinding my scouting skill. That's my goal right now. I will probably start a new... I'll definitely start a new game when uh, we hit the live build. But I may take a break from Bannerlord for a little bit and come back to it. Seems to be a winning strategy for me most times. Let's go to Husenfuk. I mean, there is no end to this, really, unless you go ahead and you conquer everything. But right now, the game's in such an unbalanced state that it's 
not really, not really a fun goal. <laughs> All right, let's do some tournament stuff. I have enough health to, you know, offset that. Skip that round. We're going to bet some money because we got some. And I'm an archer. Oh, shit. Oh, I didn't. I realized that just in time. Shit, just missed. I am not a good archer right now. Not with this guy. I'm trying to pincushion this dude. Shit. My cone of fire is kind of shit right now. There we go. Damn it, he moved. Try to get some of them long shots. Got 10 skill in bows. Oh boy. This is a big hit. And we win. Ha! <laughs> The next one I play on this will probably be a more of a gimmicky playthrough. There we go, give him a little head start. How I miss that, I don't know. What the? Oh, I hit the shield. There he goes. Oh, uh, there we go. Shit. Right in the shield. Domed hit. What? What? Did she kill her own? Ugh. There we go. Laska, you are just not for this fight. And let's join. We find an Imperial Veteran Infantryman. He might actually be pretty good. Let's go first person, because this makes it fun. Oh boy. Throw a little shield bash in there, where I can. Oh shit. A little shield bash and then a slash and then I got stabbed in the face. Not good for me. There we go. Victory for me. A little try hard mode there. <laughs> I am playing on realistic. Laska, how are you still in this fight? We'll do another first person fight against her. Because it's enjoyable. We'll jump and strike. And I missed. Oh, shit. Ooh. Oh, shit. This is, this highlights the need for like smaller shields and not just going for like a big ass pavise. Because then you can actually see over it. Otherwise, you hold your shield up, you can't see anything. So you're just turtling at that point. Which is good if you're going up against archers because you want to turtle. And just keep moving forward slowly. But we won. We are victorious. I can get one dude. Let's get him. Let's see what junk we have on us, because there's always stuff I don't want in my inventory. It's just taking up space. Come on. I wish there was a quicker way to do this, like set a threshold for items. I don't know. What does this do? Is this an improvement for anybody? No. Nope. Sure is for her. There we go. Hand me down game is going strong. Yeah, I think that's... About it. Okay. Sold all that junk. Let's get out of here. Let's go to Danustica. I 
think setting up like uh, workshops and stuff is a good idea. Let's take a look at the character sheet because I feel like that's got to be a skill you earn over time. Probably under trade. Let's see. You get caravan master, pay less for caravans, then carry more. Okay. Okay. You can carry more. Yep. Yeah, yep. Yeah. Let's see. More rumors. Workshops. Your workshop. So it already implies that you can have your own workshops. I don't know if that's only if you own a settlement. There's a lot of things I don't know about this game. A lot of things I don't feel like researching in games. <laughs> I just want to enjoy them sometimes. And play them as I go. Let's do some more arena time. I love looking behind my mustache. Alright, we're in. We're in melee mode, so... There he goes, Durngal. It's good, because he was one of the better fighters here. There we go. Good. We took an archer with us to the next round. That's actually fortuitous, because he's going to be easier later. <laughs> it's going to play a little strategic sometimes in these. What am I? Melee. Oh, I'll tell you, it didn't last long. A little tag team action here. Damn. Got him right in the collarbone. Who was that? Oh, that was Laska. Well, great. Well, Asuka, you and I are going to the end. Well, maybe not. I am. I would like to see your health persist through rounds in the tournament. That would make it a little more interesting. You can't just go all in and go down to like one health. Come back full. And make it interesting. I'm all for little changes here and there. The shield maiden. You are very good. I'm stepping on your head. Look at my boot. That's weird. Let's see if that's an upgrade to my shoulders. It's a nice head you have on your shoulders. <laughs> Uh, let's go to inventory. And this is exactly what I have. How about you? Enjoy the upgrade there, Dringle. You rad bastard. There you go. She has a nice little uh, cape now. So now eating one of my own hairs. Uh, let's keep going. Actually, let's go over here to the smithy. Do I have anything? This is a problem with me playing multiple playthroughs at once. <laughs> I get a little confused. I start thinking stuff that happened in the other one is happening in this. And that's not the case. Let's look for some quests at these little towns. Those looters are quite tasty looking. I'll do it her delivery. Yeah, I can do that. Or I could send my men out to do it. But the problem is they're probably going to get stuck. Who are you? It just went up. I think that's because I have something with charm. Uh, you need help? Well, okay. 31 sheep. Oh my god, that's a harem. Alright, let's keep moving. Uh, we're going to go ahead and take on these looters because that's a juicy target for me. Surrender or die. And we're going to attack. I've considered doing something like a thematic playthrough where you are a Roman centurion leading your men on foot, but I don't know that the formations are really that in-depth in this game. All right. Infantry there. I'd like to do more of the manipular formation rather than the later Marian reforms. Send the cavalry in. 
Try to get some throwing hits in here. Missed. Right in the kidneys. Oh, boy. Oh, he went down hard. You made the mistake of going in all, all hard and stuff. All right, we need to get our... We need to get our infantry some time. Oh, man. The shield maiden's down. Foot attack! If you're not aware of how medieval combat used to work, or most combat before firearms, basically you put your skirmishers out front. They engaged the enemy. You had your infantry line behind them. And when it came time for infantry to engage infantry, uh, you basically pulled your archers back and then charged in. I don't like, I don't like fleeing scum. No mercy, no quarters. I mean, these are basically war crimes that I'm committing right now, but that's fine. That's fine. It's a medieval period. Geneva Convention didn't happen yet. So they're not technically war crimes. Uh, somebody finish him off, please. There you go. Nicely done, Durngo. The most dangerous game. Ah. Damn right we have, man. All right, we got some upgrades. Let's get some of those going. And push on. And take all that junk that they have, because it does add up. That stuff adds up. Okay, we need to go to Sironia. Sironina. Well, let's see what happens over here. Too exciting here. How is the world map looking? Pretty balanced, actually. Surprisingly, it is pretty well balanced. Except for, you know, they've taken a little bit. They blobbed out a little. Alright, who do am I who am I talking to here? Um Mostiros, the Chandler. Alright, Mostiros. Here's your sheepies. Here's your harem. I guess I'd be more further south would be the harem for them. Well, about the task he gave me. Here's your 31 sheep there, brother. Enjoy. Have fun. Hey, my charm went up a little bit. Let's ransom what we have. Hey, a healer. How's my clan doing, by the way? Still maxed out on my companions. I do have a good surgeon here. Alaska will stick with me for a while. Do I have a good scout? Not really. Uh, I do not have any secondary parties out there. Those really only come in handy when you have holdings of your own. Because then they'll patrol around it, take care of bandits and stuff. Keep them from killing your villagers. That's really the only time I find it useful. Or if you're in another kingdom as a vassal or you have your own kingdom and you form armies and then you can just tell them to follow you for free so you can basically build a massive force caravans are great they're just expensive to start and they take up a companion little things you can learn here and there yeah 13 not really worth it 15 there we go ah, it's fine it's on the way anyways so I don't care And we'll eventually catch him, and then we'll fight him in the woods. The snowy woods. I do like that there is uh, seasons when the snow creeps down south. There's a lot of potential in this game, and the fact that the devs are really patching this like every day, <laughs> every single day, is a brutal development cycle. Just send everybody in. When it's this easy, I don't really care. Just get the kills. Cavalry's probably going to take out most of them. Let's try a long shot. That was way off. Let's try a not as long shot. 
Damn, Shield Man, you suck. You not so good. I missed every one of mine. Speaking of, speaking of sucking. Ow. Just got rocked. I don't really want the kills. Oh, damn. That dude got laid out. Uh, excuse me, sir. Stay back. Stop resisting. Damn! That dude went flying. Alright, one on one. Yeah, the bastards. Exactly. Looters aren't really good to take if you want them as prisoners. Well, if you want to take them as prisoners and recruit them, they're not that good because uh, you can't really upgrade them until you get to a certain level with your, uh, assuming, leadership abilities. I need to buy food. We got two days left. I don't want my morale taking a penalty. Let's sell them off. Man, no tournaments. What are you guys even doing over here in these towns? Yeah. Let's sell off all this junk. All right, not as much junk as I normally have. So your food stocks, what do you got? Nothing very cheap, unfortunately, besides flax, and I can't really eat that. <laughs> oh, this is usually cheaper elsewhere, especially if you go to towns. Small towns are great for uh, food. Again, they make flax, they make cotton. Got sea raiders. That's a good target. Might be able to catch them. They're pretty fast because they're a small contingent. Uh, they're cornering themselves. There we go. That's how it's done. Hey, the looters joined. Great. This is going to be an, an even better battle. We're going to close with these guys quick because they have ranged, particularly throwing weapons. Zero strategy here. Just uh, charging in. Getting hits where I can. Let's try some throwing weapons. Bump him with the horse. There we go. There we go. Took out that guy for him. Infantry is about on online here. I'd rather them do the work, get the experience. There goes a horse. Laska's down. Okay. I think they're doing pretty good. I really enjoy the siege battles in this game. That's why I want to get this back up to us being a vassal of somebody. We could probably go work for the Sturgeons again. Plenty of war for them. We'll take those guys. And we'll upgrade this guy to a Mameluke. Take all that junk. Hey, we got some food. Uh, let's see. Our clan is high enough, I think. I think. I think you needed tier two. But we could become a vassal of the Stegians again. Let's look at our troops, because somebody wants to join me. How about Sea Raiders? You can come join me. You are of my people. What are they doing up here? Where is Loshana? What are you what are you doing up here? Hey, there's a guy I need to talk to. Godin. We'll catch him. It's probably like the Kurgit type dudes that I gotta talk to the most. Some more looters for me to take on. Can you tell me of this junk? Why, thank you. It's just not something I'm really interested in. Play this game for the sandbox, as I said. I think most people do. Let's kill some little lootas, the brigands. And we're just going to go all in because, I mean, they're unarmed peasants, essentially. Throwing, throwing stones and sticks. Which can break your bones. Oh, a little too low. Way too high. One more. 
There we go. I will say, sword work on horseback is actually quite difficult. Lining up your uh, swings with the enemy is tough. Get after it, dudes. What? I hate it when they run. Especially when this many break and run. I'm not here to take prisoners. I'm here to kill. I'll work on my one-handed, I guess. Ooh, that was like a double, double dinger. Only a few more and we're done. I do love how the horse mechanics work. Turning isn't just like, I'm turning like a tank. Like if you come up here and you stop, like the horse actually like Tokyo drifts. It's really cool how I've done that. She'll remember that. You know, let's be honest, women never forget shit. All right, there we go. Got those guys good. So they got an army. That probably means they're at war with somebody. So that means plenty of opportunity for combat. Which would be glorious. There's Tovir. More looking for the king. I don't want to pledge allegiance to some bum. Nobody wants to do that. I'll help this guy. We will get some, uh, some brownie points with him. Maybe. Maybe not. He's going in. So we're going in. We want kills more than he does. Let's get in on this. Oh, I just missed. There we go. One down. Damn, that was fucking brutal. And he's down. Well, easy victory there. Got a little morale. Hell yeah, I'll take those guys. And a sickle. <laughs> Quite the loot. Let's talk, my friend. Vashkori. Vashokri. Vashorki. Vashokri. Uh, let's discuss something. No? Uh, okay. Uh, I pledge my allegiance. Oh, I gotta talk to her. Fucking man. I guess I did have to go talk to the boss man. Let's go here and see if there's any food stuffs or prisoners I can uh, bring on board. I guess I'll bring these looters because why not? What are you doing? Get over here. Nobody told you you could leave. Let's recruit some troops. Because we can. Never mind, we can't. We can take one. I'll take that archer. And let's buy a little bit of butter. Because, yeah, that's what you do in this game. You buy butter. You're the butter merchant. Butter lord. Where is that ding dong? Uh, no. Sturgeon? Where is he? I seen it. Omor. Where is Omor? Oh, he's down there. Is he like sieging it? Be a great time to join. Join up, join the army, and go siege the place. Or get in the army and then it gets crushed by a larger force, and then you become a prisoner. <sighs> yeah. That's the more likely outcome right now. Let's keep moving. We'll try to catch up to him and see what happens. Is near Omor. Maybe they're just not at war with these guys. I don't have room for you. You're getting sold off to, uh, you know, ransom or something. We'll sell them off. Let's go to the arena. We'll fight things in the arena because that's what you do. A two handed sword. Oh, my. Well, yes, I would love that. All right, a little spear and shield work here. 
Old leaping spear work. Not really that effective, but it's fun sometimes. Lateral motion is your friend. Strafing. When it comes to spear work. If you're doing one-on-one, -on -one, that is. Everything changes when you go into actual field combat. <laughs> it's totally different. It's more about placement of forces. Suck it, Taya. Ooh, I was too far away. Haha! <laughs> Victory! Who's next? So we got a couple of names here. Tal or Laska's on my team. That's good. What am I? Axeman? Watch out for the cavalrymen. They can do a lot of damage real quick. And that archer is a pain in the ass. Quite literally. There we go. Let's get him, Deuter. There goes Talia. Good. Oh, must have lost their horse. Yeah, there it is. Great success. Not bad. Uh, Blandy and Sergeant and I are on the same team. And he's an archer. Interesting. And he took an arrow right to the face. Damn, got that guy right in the ribs. Right in the uh, third intercostal space. <laughs> Take that and lost it. Damn, dude, you almost shot me. Just trying to get a head start on the next round. What a dick. Oh, let's do this spear and shield, buddy. We're poking the guts there. Oh, he actually waited. That was interesting. I do like seeing the AI's abilities when they're better. A little better at blocking and thrust placement. It's really hard against two armored opponents with a spear. <laughs> in close quarters combat. Spear is great when you're fighting in formation, but man, when you're doing one on one, it is kind of painful to watch. Put a couple of shield bashes in. I'll kick him in the dick. I bet I can't set him on fire or throw him on those spikes. Ow. Really, distance is your key for generating damage. Distance and momentum with a spear. There we go. Four damage to kill him. God, death by a thousand pokes. Ah, uh, we got a nice two-hander. Let's see how that looks in the inventory. Uh, I want to sell all that crap eventually, but let's look at weapons. I don't have a two-hander on this guy, so it doesn't really matter. Who wants a two-hander? Is this an upgrade for this? Apparently it can be used for both. I haven't quite figured out how to use it for both in that case. I don't know. Uh, she's got a one-hander. That was a level five. It's actually shorter. How does that work? How does it... That doesn't make sense. Congrats, here you go. Enjoy. Uh, let's go find our dude. Because we're looking for, uh, Rangvad or whatever. Let's go here to Kingdoms. Let's go to... Sturgia, where you at, bro? He's in your ball guard. Got to guard them balls. Uh, that is right here. So he's probably actually in town. Just trying to provide you another 80 dudes to help out in your war against whoever. Because I, I want some more. I want more war. Maybe he's actually at ball guard. There's 
Olek. Let's go to the keep. Nope, he's not here. Huh. Where's your king, dude? Uh, yeah, I'd like to enter the service of him. Not as a merc. He's currently at Bulgard. Okay. So I need to pay the bribe. Look at all them sea raiders. Oh, that'd be so worth it. Uh, let's go to the keep. Let's pay the bribe. Let's talk to the king. And get on with it. I'd like to uh, enter your service. Pledge of Allegiance. Yep, yep, yep. All those things and oaths and stuff. I have joined Sturgia. Uh, so I'll get paid. Um, yeah, okay. Let's talk to one of the ladies here. Because I know they're around here. I'll try to sweet talk one of them. That's how you impress a lady. You jump on the table. How about this lady? She's like playing the, news, the nose flute or something. Good day, madam. She's a tall one, apparently. Uh, I'd like to discuss something. I'm your most ardent admirer. Mm. I wish to offer my hand in marriage. So what you do now is you um, come to spend time together, and then you have to convince her. Let's go for mercy. And it was ineffective. Uh, how about generosity? Hey, there we go. Hmm, how about... Generosity and mercy. Ooh. Yeah, basically you have to succeed every roll. Okay, well. Moving on to the next. How about you, Asta? With your... Ugh. God, wash your hair, lady. Try a little bit. Let's see. I would like to discuss... Oh, apparently not. I guess you're an actual... thing. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I guess you're an actual lord or something. Surprised you can't marry other lords. Hmm. Hmm. She's a noble woman. Eh, whatever. There's nothing in the arena. Let's go fight some of these guys. Who are we at war with? Anybody? How are we not at war with anybody? That's no fun. Well, at least I'll get some money now. I have more troops than the king himself. Come on, Sea Raiders. You're worth a lot of stuff, and you usually have good loot. Found their hideout. That's actually quite good for us. 28 Sea Raiders. We're, we're going to use a little bit of tactics here. Should be fun. Alright, I want to get to a slightly favorable terrain, although there is not much here. We'll put the archers over here. Keep the cavalry with us. We're going to go skirmish and charge right through their lines. That's usually what I do for this. Ow, oh, that almost killed me. Glad I got my shield up. Alright, we're going to come back. Chuck some stuff back at him. See if I can get any hits here. No idea if I'm gonna. None. That's unfortunate. Alright, we'll keep the cavalry. Uh, I'm trying to split their force a little bit so they come after me. Meanwhile, my men take them down. Alright, we're gonna charge through the side of their line. Hit the flank. Watch for them spears. <laughs> My horse just face planted into a tree. Alright, we're gonna come in from the rear. Now we're gonna probably gonna lose a lot of archers here, unfortunately, because uh they charge that line. Maybe not. Eh, we got to kill some of these dudes, get some experience. My tactics, tactics went up. That's good. Go 
One more. Jeez. Whoever took that shot just domed that guy. Moving target, too. Nice. Nicely done. Bunch of prisoners. That's good. I'm hurt pretty bad. Drungle is. Talia is. Let's get one of those dudes. Wood runners. Uh, anything good here? Doesn't look like it. A bunch of junk. How about my civilian clothing? I don't even have a scarf. Oh, man. What a bum. All right, there we go. We still haven't had to buy any food, which is great. That's a lot of sea raiders. That's a good way to die. Yeah, there's so many of these guys. Oh, we'll drive them this way. We're losing money, but if you look at this, we're making a little bit from uh, the king's support. If we get a caravan going, I think that'll make us a good amount of money. Problem is, I don't have a good buffer monetarily. And somebody needs to declare war. This is boring. Yeah, maybe Olek and I can take on this scumbag. I'm going to keep chasing him over here. We'll just go to this town. There we go. We caught him. Almost sounded like there was a siege going on. There is. Well, interesting. This is going to change hands. All right. There's not that many of these dudes, so we're just going to charge in. Let the cavalry do their thing. It's not Calvary, by the way. That is a denomination of Christianity. Throwing stuff is to... Oh, damn, I took out the chief. Oh, got that guy in the leg. Man, I love the ragdoll in this game now. The horses do some weird stuff, but... Man, that was really satisfying. Swept the leg. Laska dinged. Nice. Oh, shit. <laughs> I had my shield up. Apparently it didn't work. That guy got it good. Oh, he's just surrounded. Not bad. I took a little bit of a dinger there, but that's okay. I want more war. We need more war in this game. Sturgeons need to get off their ass and get into the fight. These guys are duking it out. The Empire is hiding or fighting itself. Slowly licking our wounds here. How many uh, forest bandits are all archers, man? That's not a good idea. I ain't going for that. It's a good way to get get captured. Well, actually, you can't really get captured with those, but. Good way to get weakened significantly. I'll hire you two. What kind of food you got? You got some grain, a little bit of cheese. I'll buy that from you. Come up here to Firth. We'll go up to Revel. This will be interesting because it's a good challenge to the Volandians. Uh, yeah, I'm buying the butter. Give me that butter. Uh, let's hire a couple of dudes. So we're good there. Good. Uh, yeah. I don't know why I have this marked. But look at all them looters. We'll do one more with the looters if we can catch them. I may just send my troops. If I'm being honest. We'll see what's up here. Okay. Yeah, I forget those guys. I can't catch them. It would take an inordinate amount of time to catch those guys. All right, I think this is uh, as good a time as any to call the episode because it's kind of kind of dull. But uh, hey, thanks for joining me, folks. We'll continue this for a bit. Uh, I don't know how much longer I'm going to play this campaign. There's no real end in sight, and uh, it's uh, you know it's a beta. It's going to change over time, so we're going to have to play new patches. Some of these might break our saves. We'll see.
We'll see. But again, thanks for joining me. Hope you're uh, staying safe and healthy out there. Protect your own. Help others if you can. And hey, if you want to help out the channel and you happen to be buying things from Amazon, I do have a bunch of affiliate links down below in the uh, description. So don't go and buy something just to buy it. But if you're already buying something, hey, it gets me a commission. I'd appreciate it. That'll help out the channel. But uh, take it easy.